Hi, I'm Mark Marino, creator of the Awaken Your Wellness Now blog. What if you could develop a mindset that was so strong that you could meet any challenge and meet every day with a positive attitude, get results, and make progress in your life? To have a mindset that you could break the negative cycle that we can all get into sometimes when we have a state of stress and overwhelm. Wouldn't this be a game changer? So today I'm going to talk about the game changer mindset. Now, when you're stressed and overwhelmed and everything seems to be going wrong in your life, there's a tendency to focus on all the negative aspects of your life. There's a tendency to do what's called catastrophizing. What if this happens? What if that happens? And you focus on all the what ifs in a negative way. Now, you've heard me talk about this in many of my videos and in my course, Awaken Your Mind, in great detail. And now I'm going to go into deeper detail about what I consider the game changer mindset. And that is developing a positive, proactive mindset. Now, my definition of a positive, proactive mindset is approaching life with a constructive, positive attitude with respect to how you respond to the circumstances in your life. It's about living life on purpose with respect to taking action towards the specific goals that you have set for yourself. It's about having appreciation and gratitude for what you have, for the people you love, and for who loves you as well. Now, to help guide you, I want to talk about the three P's of the positive, proactive mindset. Now, the three P's are is being positive, being present, and being productive. Now, these are not exclusive to each other. They go hand in hand, and you will start to see them positively and exponentially grow as you work on them. So let's talk about the first P, being positive. Now, this is not just saying be happy and everything will be okay. We know that's not the case, and it's not true. Now, as Tony Robbins saying, that's like looking at the gardening and saying there are no weeds. Having a constructive, positive attitude is looking at the garden or looking at life and saying there are weeds, there are challenges. Now, what am I going to do about them? Now, James Allen said, and I'm paraphrasing, a person will soon discover that they are the master gardener of their soul. They are the designer of their life. Now, the challenges will happen. They will come. And you have the choice as to how you will respond. Will you respond to these challenges with a negative attitude and thinking? Or will you respond to them with a positive attitude? Remember, you are the master gardener of your soul. You are the designer of your life. Remember, it's okay to get mad. It's okay to have a bad day, a bad week even. But it's not okay to stay there. Now, you can give yourself a pass for being negative here or there. But it's your job to reset, get back on track, and flip that negative attitude. And I want you to see the possible positive opportunities that you have. Zig Ziglar said, positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. It's about thinking about what's right rather than who's right. Rather than seeing the faults in someone, it's about seeing their potential and how can you be of service to that person. It's about focusing on what you want rather than what you don't want. It's about showing appreciation and gratitude for the things that you have rather than the woe is me attitude of the things that you lack. So you need to work consistently on developing a positive mindset to really reap the benefits throughout your life. But when you do, you will see that it is an absolute game changer and that you will never be the same again. And you will hear and see people who have a negative mindset from a mile away. You will identify them by their complaining, by their down talking others, by them finding reasons not to do things, but not you, because you are developing a positive, proactive mindset. Now, the second P in the positive, proactive mindset is being present in the moment. And when you start to develop your positive mindset, being present in the moment will start to happen. Now, this was a game changer for me when I broke the cycle of having chronic pain for seven years after my car accident. Being present in a moment happens when you give yourself permission to let go of or reframe the past traumatic events that you see as being responsible for your pain. Being present in the moment also means replacing the worry that you have about a future that hasn't occurred yet with creating the future by setting specific goals. And these specific goals give you a reference point by which to make decisions in the present. Now, the third P is being productive. And as I said, the three P's go hand in hand. So as you start to develop a positive mindset and you're being more present in the moment, by that fact, you will start to be more productive in the present as well. 
Now, this is taking action and living a purpose-driven life, whereby instead of worrying about the past or the future, you are taking action in the present and working towards your specific goals that you have set for yourself. And this gives you control and more focus in your life. Sounds good, doesn't it? It is. Remember, you are the master gardener of your soul. You are the director of your life. So take time to work on and develop a positive, proactive mindset. And you'll see, it's a game changer. Well, I hope this information helped you out. And if you're seeing this video anywhere other than my blog, go check my blog out at awakenyourwellnessnow.com backslash blog. Have a great day and remember, be positive, be motivated, be focused, and be well. Thank you.